Just a quick clip. I'm getting ready to start on working on a biofilter. Starting to move things along here. I um, have a bit of an algae thing as I'm cycling. Uh, probably because I'm feeding these plants with kelp. But um, anyway, I covered these today. Got them buttoned up a little bit so it's not so much light. And I'm also getting ready to try to build a filter out of the Metaldo sheets there. This blue barrel and uh, make it fit over in this area right here lengthwise drop my two overflows in filter that up through it and overflow back down we'll see how it goes it's not the perfect situation but um it's a temporary filter i got another little greenhouse going out either on the back or the side of this one not sure which yet and uh, i'll put a, a swirl filter and a bio filter in there at some point but i think this will work It'll, this barrel should just about hold both of those whole sheets stack It'll only be about eight inches off the bottom of the barrel, but the water will swirl underneath there. I'll have a tap on the end where I can blow it off if I need to, but the water will rise up through those sheets and go out through an overflow and back down into the sump. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get another clip here in a while. Thanks. All right, so I got something in place here. I don't know. We're going to see how <laughs> what happens here. Um, you can see I got two stand pipes. I'm going to let those uh we'll let one be the primary after i get the filter media put in there the one will be the primary the other will be like a secondary in case there's a a big flow or something coming in um just got a little simple rack all this is movable i'm going to uh make sure things are flowing good and draining good and getting a little swirl action there i'm not so much worried about that i'm not even putting a drain in at the moment only because i didn't have the right hole cell i uh I'll park a little petcock on this, uh, probably on the back end, actually, so I can drain it straight off the back if I want to clean it out, but primarily it's just going to recirculate anyway, so I'm going to let, uh, make sure the barrel will actually hold water and not collapse, and um, <laughs> I'll go from there. I'll get it, uh, adjust this uh, circulation a little bit, maybe, uh, with the angles there, and um, I can send more flow through there, too, by putting more into the tanks. These are the overflows. And then uh, I'll adjust the height, cut my filter media, put two layers of that down in there, and just uh, notch around those pipes and coming down, you know, slit to go over the two and slip on the sides to go over the others and uh, get them in there the best I can, make it a tight fit. And then I think all I'm really going to have to do at that point is just uh, lay a couple things on top just to keep it from moving around and it should be fine for a temporary setup. All right, I'm going to dip all this plastic off the top of the water and uh, take another clip in a little while. So here we go, here's what the final product came out as. It's been running uh, 14 hours now, something like that. Seems to be working pretty well. You can see we're already getting some uh, accumulation of some of the solids into the matting there. And that should just help to increase the uh, filtering capabilities and give uh, a good place for some bacteria to colonize. Uh, temporary cover I just put on for the night last night. Uh, Two drains drop out down there. Everything seems to be working good. I'm getting a lot of the solids out of the system. The algae's looking better already. Uh, I really need to scrub the tanks a little better, but stowing a little bit of a wrench yesterday. I come home and a friend that knew I had this up and running and was gonna be trying out a few fish soon. He wanted to get rid of a goldfish, so he just kind of brought it by and threw it in in a bag. Found it here last night and uh, it's actually doing pretty good. I don't know if we can see it or not. Yeah, he's over there. He's hiding, kind of. There he is. It's about a uh, uh, seven, eight inch long fish. Something in that range with the counting the fancy little tail, but seems to be happy thus far. I checked the water this morning. My pH is high, but other than that, everything's pretty, pretty good. Things are looking good. The cycling's coming along well. Plants are finally getting some decent roots and starting to take off, so we, uh, I think we've got a little something going on here once I get the water cleaned up and get a few things adjusted. But anyway, just a little update at the end with the aquaponics, but um, I think things are going well. But that's my little temporary biofilter. may end up being more than temporary. I still have to uh, punch a hole in one end and put a little uh, drain on the bottom so that I can flush it or drain out the solids from underneath. The circulation was actually doing pretty good in there. Um, I think it'll work out well. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for looking.